Hi Gemini, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot, an oracle card reading for all Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, this will be the theme for today's reading brought to you by the Moonology Manifestation Oracle Card deck. You have the last quarter moon in Cancer. Take a breather, okay? So perhaps as you've wrapped up your season that maybe it kept you busy and it's time for a breather, that, that card reminds me of vacation in some beautiful tropical oasis, but let's consult the cards and see what else you need to know. What advice do you have for Gemini, please? What does Gemini need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Gemini? All right. general reading today and then we'll conclude with an angel's answers oracle card reading too you have here the ten of wands the fool putting down those burdensome wands the page of pentacles the eight of wands finally i was going to say there the ace of wands yeah i feel like something's moving forward after some blood sweat and tears the queen of cups the three of swords eight of swords so there's something about this resistance to change or not seeing it coming um, with the Ten of Wands, Three of Swords, Eight of, of Swords, I feel like it got somebody a bit tangled up, but I'll tell you what doesn't have you tangled up is this, okay? This is where we turn on your heart light, where life gets fun again, where life moves forward. That full energy is freedom. It's a wonderful card. Now, he's an, it's an interesting card because he's known as the beginner's mind which what it, that really means is that his mind is full of nothing. He doesn't have anybody else's limitations piled onto him. So this is where you really are free to make a fresh start. Where you, and if you're moving somewhere, it's going to be fantastic. But whatever this is, even if it's a new job and you saw some pitfalls in the old job, or you saw yourself retrospectively stepping in pitfalls, you know, not, not realizing it, I feel like you've learned what you've needed to, but it's also to divorcing yourself from negative energy. So if you do have a great idea, I feel like you're going to move to your, the beat of your own drummer here. You're not going to need a lot of other people's advice, opinions, and consultation. And sometimes the problem with that is they start to go negative. I've had people negate me over time and I just keep it, my good ideas to myself unless I know it's somebody who's very successful and creative. And I find when I talk to someone like that, they get it. They don't, it's the people who are stuck that are the ones we tend to want to steer clear of and sharing our hopes and dreams because they just don't do this with you. So if it's a love interest though, I feel like it's been a while here. You're about to take flight here on the Love Express. It's wonderful. So we have here all the elements represented. Now this Ten of Wands, take a breather. I should say so. I feel like somebody here has a brand new beginning and it's coming at just the right time. This Ten of Wands is challenging energy. It's very burdened, feeling the weight, carrying the weight of the wor world on you. And so for some too, it can also be feeling that pinch of, of success to some extent, especially too, if you got edged out. I just met a guy the other day that was a teacher who talked about his end to his teaching career that he got moved to a new building. He was teaching a totally different grade level. He went from fourth grade to kindergarten and then they started giving him bad evaluations and he said, I was so close to retirement that I just decided it was time to retire rather than continuing down that path and see what was going to happen. And so he said, I was, I was at the point anywhere where it was like, I don't really need this. Okay. So sometimes it is people at the top can feel this too. So if that was you and you said, yeah, I went on the, the road less traveled or there was too much paperwork, there was something going on there that was really keeping you stuck. I feel like you're going to take that path that path of freedom and unburden yourself from this. Now, if it's also to relationships, because this is like a situation that feels like it's almost too much to take, but the good news is he's right at, he's coming home, okay? So if it was a relationship where you felt like you were really carrying the other person, whether it was emotionally, mentally, spiritually, physically, or financially, I feel like that chapter is closing. It's time to, to put down this heaviness and go into something that feels so much lighter. It feels easy. It feels like this is why we're here. And it actually is because it's your soul saying, let's get back to center. Let's get back to why we're here. You came here as a soul to meet and frolic with other souls. And sometimes we get souls 
in our path in our day-to-day -day business who are so shrouded by the mind that we're not really interacting on a soul level as much as a mind meets mind. And so I feel like with this, it's sort of like you get rid of that, whatever it was. If you came to loggerheads with something, if it really jammed you, this is where you say, hey, you know what? I want my life to be great. You could have an okay life. You could decide, I want my life to be okay. But this is somebody who makes a decision. I want my life to be great. And so I do feel like with this, new opportunities are coming your way because the fool has no bounds. The fool is limitless, okay? The fool sees everything as a new opportunity. There's nothing holding you back here. And so even if it was a job loss, I feel like you can step into the next job, lean into the freedom of something new and not something so confining. And so the Page of Pentacles shows up as a guardian angel of money. He comes in with an offer. He's good news about money. So I also feel like, too, if somebody had a bit of burdensome debt or something that got a little off track, especially if you you know, had, had a job loss and things got a little difficult to make ends meet, I do feel like you have some kind of opportunity or option that's sure going to help out a lot where it's just going to make things feel easier and get back under control even better than easy. It feels back under control and management if it's your own personal finances. But he also offers you an opportunity for a little extra money too if you're some kind of a tutor or you're able to meet with people in a way where it feels like it's some type of service like tutoring or something or even like a concierge service if you're running errands for people. I just get this feeling of it's easy, it's easy for you, okay? It plays into your skill set, or even if you're subbing for someone, like there's a short-term kind of a deal. And so that's why I think is why it feels nice is it's like you're not locked into anything forever. So either way with that, the Eight of Wands is going to allow things to move forward. We love the Eight of Wands here. It's communication. It's an exciting time and it moves quickly. Ideas and people coming towards you, okay? That's what this is all about. And if you are single, boy, this one is going to come in so hot. It's wonderful. It's the kind of energy where you really have sparks between you and this other person. It's a lot coming towards you, though, so be aware of it, especially if you have been stuck. Although I do feel like somebody, if you have been stuck, you're going to appreciate this energy. And it may even begin with the take a breather. Get yourself sort of calmed down for a minute because when this shows up, too, things are going to speed up. And so it may be one of those times if you have just a little, little, you know, sequence of events that allows you to get your bearings, that's even better. But either way with this, it is going to lead to expansion, growth. It's communication overall. And it's, it's like I said, it's change coming in and change coming in hot. So the Ace of Wands breathes life back into life. This is wonderful. It's enthusiasm. If, and it is a new beginning too, by the way. If it is a new job, I feel like you're going to have more resources. You're going to have more autonomy. You're going to have more, be given more, what I get is almost like privileges or access to something where you're like, wow, this is really crazy. I've, in my old job would have never done this because this is a place that it respects and appreciates their employees. But it, it also too, in a love relationship is one that does have a lot of fire, passion, and zing. And so it could be in a fire sign that you're attracting Aries, Leo, Sag. But I tell you what, they come with an open and kind and loving heart. Um, there, this is the kind of energy, though, where you cannot get enough of each other, where you're excited to see each other, where you're, you know, you get that text in the morning and you're just happy to look at your phone and see that they're there. And so I do feel like it's very much reciprocal, too. And so with this Ace of Wands, it's just the beginning for you. This is more to come. It's a wonderful energy of growth and that real feeling of knowing you're on the right track. So the Queen of Cups comes in and I mentioned... She is a card of emotion, open emotions, and very caring card. And so in terms of love, it is real love. It's somebody who comes straight from the heart, and they do speak from the heart. And there's there's nothing stopping their energy with the Fool and the Eight of Wands. But this is also that clear communication, that honest, loving communication. And so in terms of a, a situation around you, people around you will be kind and loving. If you are starting a new job, I don't feel like the people are going to be threatened by you. Okay, you're not going to hear that you're intimidating. It's re and really what it is, is they're intimidated. But, I, you know, we shouldn't be trying to change each other, right? I mean, that just doesn't seem fair. This is somebody that says, well, what a go-getter. This is a great person to have on our team. They're fun. They're outgoing. They seem great at this job. It's very uplifting, positive, 
perspective when the Queen of Cups is in a, a reading, but it's also to intuition. So follow your intuition too, and especially too in when you interact with people on a personal level, sort of gauging their energy and where, you know, that that interpersonal dialogue with another person, it feels important here. Well, these last two, it's like, what are you doing here? The Three of Swords, Eight of Swords cards together. This Three of Swords is a resistance to change. That's how I get it, but so is the Eight. It's like gridlock. And so I do feel like if something has kept you, it's really finally time to break free. And this is uncomfortable energy, no doubt about it. Now, if it was something that had you stuck and then it abruptly ended, this also can be a betrayal. And I get it that way too. Like, I get it that way. I get it in here too, though. With the Eight of Swords, there's a guilty energy like somebody knew information that they didn't share with you that they knew was holding you back, okay? I just, and if you say, no, it's not me, it's somebody around me, uh, then that's, it's still in the card zone. You know, these cards don't lie. It's being confined, but it's also too, it's part of our own personal awareness too, to be aware of situations as much as we can. So there's something about this because she's so loosely confined. She could walk free anytime, but she chooses not to. Perhaps it's out of guilt or perhaps even fear, but for some reason, she doesn't move forward. So it may have been a bit of a lesson learned for somebody, but with the other eight of wands, it's almost like they neutralize each other in the reading where you then move forward. It's like something ends to bring in a big gain. All right, let's see what else you need to know here. Messages, please, for Gemini. All right, what advice do you have for Gemini, please? Look for a sign. Those signs and synchronicities are all communication. You have the card of compromise. So there may be something about just bringing things back into balance in your world. You've got romance. I told you, somebody's coming in after you. Perfect timing. And you've got a yes. Good things are on the way for you, Gemini. I love you. And I'll be back again soon.